and some stunning images coming out of Iceland, where a volcano has erupted in spectacular style for the sixth time since December. The volcano began erupting Thursday night, following a series of strong earthquakes. CDB Scott Hurst is standing by with more on that story. Scott, great mm -hmm. to see you again. Let me just start by saying those visuals are simply mind-blowing. Akshay, it is incredible. It is striking. It is breathtaking seeing this volcano in southwestern Iceland back at it again, putting on this display, this striking display of Earth's power. Fountains of glowing molten rock could be seen shooting into the night sky. This latest eruption beginning with force, but the lava has continued into today. It started late Thursday night, but has since slowed. Much more intense to start than the last eruption back in May, but now slowing the rate of the lava that is spewing out of the earth. As you said, this is the sixth eruption since December. The fissure in the volcano expanded to about five kilometers during the day up from just under four kilometers late Thursday night. Footage filmed from the helicopter also showed the glowing red-hot lava spraying from the crack in the earth as plumes of smoke actually also billowed around it. Scott, I mean, these visuals truly mm. are apocalyptic, right? Dark skies, <laughs> yeah. orange fire, and orange <laughs> as well in the skies. Truly apocalyptic. But let me ask you about the risks involved here, because last time around we recalled that there's a town, uh, a town named Grindavik, which mm -hmm. is uh, close by. Any sort of evacuation orders or any alerts for the tourists in the area? Specifically for the town, it is still mostly evacuated since the eruptions that have been ongoing since December. As we said, six. this is the sixth now since December. A few people had been back. They were uh, forced out of the town when this came up again. But that town is not specifically threatened from this latest eruption. And there are have been barriers that put up just in case any lava does flow close to that town. But there's also a luxury uh, spa uh, near the area. Very popular destination for international tourists. A lot of people may know the Blue Lagoon. It mm -hmm. had to be evacuated, forcing about 1,300 people uh, out of that uh, spa, and it remains closed today. That is 1,300 people, including guests and staff. Gas pollution from the eruption could be carried south and southeast, warned the meteorological office, but the nearby fishing village, as you had mentioned, Grindavik, which had largely already been emptied out, was not at risk from this latest eruption. Mm -hmm. And air traffic in and out of the capital city of Reykjavik, not affected by this latest eruption as well. However, there are, of course, people that are flocking to see it, people that uh, were at the Blue Lagoon. Of course, uh, local officials in the area, emergency officials are always warning when this happens. This is not a tourist attraction. It is a spectacular display, of course, but warning that there are obviously significant dangers that are posed by this eruption. Yeah, dramatic developments in Iceland there. Scott, appreciate the update. Thank you.